Our first guest is Jordan Leopold, a Golden Valley native. He played four years for the Gophers and was named to the WCHA All-Rookie Team. He was the 2002 WCHA Defensive Player of the Year and was the 2001-2002 First Team All-American and 2002 Hobie Baker Winner Award. He led his Gophers to the 2002 NCAA National Championship. He was also a member of the 2006 U.S. Olympic Team. Jordan was drafted 44 overall by the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim in the 99 draft. He played 14 years, ending his career as a Minnesota Wild. Please welcome M Club Hall of Fame member, Jordan Leopold. Our next guest is Paul Martin, an Elk River native and Mr. Hockey alumni. He played three years for the Gophers and was named to the WCHA All-Rookie Team, a 2003 second team All-American and led Minnesota to back-to-back national championships in 2002 and 2003. He is the three-time member of the USA Olympic team, drafted 62 overall by the New Jersey Devils in 2002. He played 14 seasons, reaching the playoffs in each of those seasons. His Shine the Light Foundation raises awareness to reduce the stigma for those affected by bullying, depression, mental health. He's currently an undergrad assistant for the Gophers. Please welcome Paul Martin. First goal you ever got in the NHL in your first Stanley. Did it feel the same? Do you remember where you were? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Duddy on course. the spot. Of course. Duddy on the spot. Oh, Duddy on the spot. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Freddie Brathwaite. He played in year, he played many years, but um, it, uh, it took me a couple months to get my first goal. But when I did it, obviously they got a good snapshot of it back in 35 millimeter day. Um, and, and it was assisted by a hall of famer, um, uh, Jerome McGinley and another guy that Paulie actually knows. He played with his brother, Rob Niedemeyer, pretty neat. And you know what? They always give you a nice plaque every time you score a goal, the new team. So I played with more teams than Paulie. I got a lot of plaques. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I, my first goal uh, was in New Jersey from Igor Larionov was assisted. He, they call him the professor, one of the Russian five that, that came over. Um, okay. And on Javi, Javi Bulin was uh, uh, the goalie. To, to both of y'all get drafted, was it any different? Did it take some pressure off knowing that kind of like you're in college and you kind of made it because you've already got drafted? All I wanted to do is I wanted to be a gopher hockey player. I never thought about the NHL. I never thought about um, playing for Stanley Cups. I mean, you watch the Gretzky's, you watch the Paul Coffey's, all that. But in our own backyard, we had the Larry Olams. We had, uh, you know, the Brian Bonnets, the Mike Crowley's, all those types of players. And we wanted to be them. So to be able to come to the University of Minnesota was a bucket list type, type stuff. So after that, for me, the rest was somewhat icing on the cake. Okay. Yeah, you probably had that mullet go in your first year pro, so you probably yeah, got me. Well, it looks like you grew it out right now for yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, same what Jordan said. Like, I, I grew up watching the Gophers, you know, and, and wanting to be a Gopher. And after my junior year, I, I really wanted to stay um, and play out with, you know, the guys, my Gopher class. The whole Gopher experience is one that was my, you know, my priority. And then once you do kind of leave, it's a different world, you know, and you know, Q, like it's, it's, it's not college ball. It's, it's, you know, more of a business and you kind of lose a little bit of that, that team that you have kind of at the college field. So. Jordan, I want you to talk a little bit about coming back and playing for the wall. And then Paul, I want you to talk about how did it feel when you came 
back to Mariucci, but as a coach. And then my daughter was feeling uh, bad one day and wrote a letter in, in one of her classes how she wants daddy to come home and wrote this persuasive essay to the Minnesota Wild general manager about how she wanted her dad home and it ended up getting leaked uh, to Paul Allen, one of her family friends, and took it off on KFAN and went wild with it. And I ended up, by coincidence, getting traded in the Minnesota Wild that day. But to be able to come home and have that uh, ovation and um, be able to end my career at home, pretty, pretty darn cool. I love that. That's a good story. I love that story. Hey, thanks, Paul. That's really nice of you. <laughs> and with everything going on after I retired, I uh, talked to Coach Motsko, you know, how just if, if you needed somebody and he said, yeah, we'd, we'd love to have you. And like for me now, it's like I don't really know what I'm going to do. The last year has been kind of a transition phase to kind of get in touch with myself and figure out like, you know, who I am, what direction do I want to go in moving forward. And I'd, I'd love to see if coaching something for me. And so just to come back and we talked about the experience I had at the U earlier and um, hopefully just to come in and get to know the guys and provide a similar experience like the coaches did for me. And so especially to come back and, and be with the Gophers and, and uh, where I have so many great memories, it's been pretty cool and special. So I do appreciate both of you and, and just so, so happy to have you all in our record books and, and to be Gophers. And um, it's one of the reasons why, you know, we love this place is, we, you know, all the great people that, that played here and everyone here. So, so thank you. Um, can't wait to, to see you in, in, uh, in person. So like I close all these, go Gophers and Sky Yuma. Sky Yuma. Thanks, Q. Yuma. Appreciate Yuma. it. Go Gophers.